Jan, the ship is stable. They're gonna be all right. He's okay, Jan. I need you to go home. Fine. Turn the box back on. I'll see what now, I can do. Now, turn the box back on. Now. Well, there's security protocol. Well, does. I don't give a damn. I've got a dozen cameras on my front lawn, Deke. Do you want me telling them what's going on? Jan, you have to trust us. We've got this under control. No, you don't. All these protocols and procedures to make it seem like you have it under control. But you're a bunch of boys making models out of balsa wood. You don't have anything under control. That's Claire Foy and First Man, which is available now on Blu-ray. And I notice you were not watching the monitor when you're on screen. Do you hate to watch yourself on screen? I don't hate it, but you, if I can avoid it... It's probably you nice. will, yeah. yeah. So you don't sit there. What about when you're in a movie theater? Is it better when you're in the theater, or is, does it make you uncomfortable when you're in the theater? I don't, I, I don't really have a... I have a, this weird sort of disconnection between watching myself and what I do for a living. Like, I, I don't feel like I'm watching myself. Uh-huh. But I know that person quite well. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like... Saw her in the bathroom this yeah, morning. Yeah. I'm sure I've seen I you somewhere I brushed her before. teeth. <laughs> <laughs> you play um, uh, yeah. Janet, as I mentioned, the wife of Neil Armstrong, mm -hmm. who... I have to say, I know it's a dumb thing, but... I never, you know, you hear about Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin, you never even imagine these guys having families and wives mm. and all the stuff that they have. Mm. And that just alone is interesting. But then the story of how much anxiety, especially in that particular case, that's just a, is that for you like a kind of a perfect role that you really relish? Ooh, it was quite an, um, it, uh, like a tense role to play. I think I felt like Ryan was obviously, we had, to, it was kind of separate. He went to the moon, and then we were at home. And um, I felt like every time he came home, I was there going, where have you been? What are you doing? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> because it was just quite... It was it, All the scenes had kind of that kind of feeling yeah. to them. Yeah, um, but that's kind of how marriage goes a lot of times. Yeah, true. Yeah. Um, but, uh, <laughs> but, I, uh, but it was amazing. I mean, amazing to kind of get to know her and, and the family, and, and uh, the Armstrongs were so involved in the shooting of the movie and the script and everything, so... Yeah, and it's yet like to have uh, an English person and a Canadian playing two yeah. of our American heroes is really a tack on the flag, on our flag. <laughs> and maybe you think maybe we should build a dome around this country, not just a wall, but to keep everyone out and even to keep oxygen We're out. We're everywhere. <laughs> you really are. We are everywhere. You're, the place is crawling with you. Do you believe we went to the moon or do you believe it's a conspiracy? I know we went... I mean, I know we went to the moon. <laughs> um, I, well, I mean, you know, Damien says as well that, that it was so hard to shoot the moon in this... But like, so many things happened that it sort of... he After he'd finished shooting it, it was like, there's no way they could have faked it because it was so hard to actually oh, make a film. just from a technical standpoint, yeah, he says... so we... difficult. The light and the shadow... He's and... saying it would have been harder to fake the moon landing than to actually go to the moon. He, at a certain point, he was like, it probably would have been easier. <laughs> <laughs> To get in a rocket, take That's... Ryan in a rocket, <laughs> shoot him into space. Do you ever run into these characters who believe, who do not believe that we landed on the moon now that you're involved in this world? I'm related to quite a few of them. Oh, is that yeah. right? You have... My, my, my grandmother was a, a conspiracy theorist um, about pretty much everything. But the moon was, de was definitely like, oh, no, it never happened. That was a bit... What, what else? Like, what, like Bigfoot or...? No, no. Like... Something, about, something about the Hoover Dam. The Hoover Dam. What about? It? I'm from Las Vegas. I know everything I about the Hoover Dam. What do you want to know? Theory? I never. I obviously didn't listen. Which is there's horrible. one. There's one What's weird that? urban myth about right. the Hoover Dam, as far as I know, and it's that it was. Have you seen the Hoover Dam? Have you been there? Not in real life. We also called the Boulder Dam, but that people died building the dam, and they just paved over their bodies while they were doing because they couldn't go down and retrieve the people. It's not true. It's like a, one of those things. <laughs> It's one of those things that somebody told me when I was a kid, and I believed it my whole life, and then we got the Internet, and I was like, oh, this is not true. Are you sure it's not true? Well, no, I'm not sure. Is your grandmother still with us? No, she's not. Uh, is she no. paved over in the Hoover Dam? <laughs> maybe that's what it was. <laughs> no, but maybe she just knew. She had a... Yeah, something about the Hoover Dam. That's a weird uh, thing to... Well, I never really... Yeah, uh, that's interesting. It would have been much better if I'd actually listened. And then I yes, well, myself. although, to what end, really, yeah. if you think about I just it? just didn't believe it. You know, there is likely you will get an Oscar nomination. <laughs> uh, as, you know, it's, let's be honest. <laughs> Let's not play dumb. You okay. know that this is likely to happen. <laughs> Who will you bring to the Oscars with you? I don't know. I haven't thought about that. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think I'd have to bring a family member, wouldn't I? For sure. That would be frowned upon. Let's know. commit right now. 
or have a contest. Oh, that would be good. Like, it's a knockout or something. Yeah, they've got, like, five weeks. Yeah. Whoever treats you the best in the next five weeks gets to go to the Oscars. Well, I'd you. rather do some sort of, like, they have to wrestle in jelly or something. Like Even that. better. <laughs> Even better. Yeah. That would be great. <laughs> well, it's great to have you here. Oh, Thank okay. you. And, and congratulations me. on the movie and all the accolades and whatnot. Claire Foy, everyone. Her movie is called First Man. That's it right there. If you like that video, click subscribe, and we'll be together until one of us dies.